Okay, the next question that we got on the menu today is if y varies inversely as x, and uh, okay, let's uh, let's write that out what that means in a mathy sense first. So y varies inversely as x. What that means, it, or to write that out is a math relationship. You say like y alpha, which means it's proportional to um, one over x. It means that. If y gets big, um, x is getting small. Or if y is getting big, or if x is getting big, y is getting small. Okay, but what this really means is that y is equal to some constant times, let's, let's call the constant k, because constant starts with k, yeah, makes sense, uh, 1 over x. Oh, I know constant doesn't start with k, but... Why do mathematicians want to use k for constant? I don't really see why, but you know, I guess they put, they were using the c other <laughs> for something else. Not to worry, we uh, we know how to treat it. So um, yeah, we also know that um, y is equal to eight. Y is equal to eight, which is equal to k times. 1 over 4. This is when x is equal to 4. That's um, that's what we're getting over here. y equal to 8 is when x is equal to 4. So this should help us find what k is. What the constant is. What constant is... Uh, what's the constant of their, of their inverse relationship? So we can actually solve for that if we multiply both sides by 4. So that'll be uh, 4 times 8 equals k, oh, not, not, multiply k, equals k. What's 4 times 8? 32. Well, that makes sense. If k is 32, that means the right side is 32 divided by 4. Uh, yep, sounds about right. Does the solution say that? Yep. Okay, so... Um, so we know what k is, so we know that y is just equal to 32 divided by x. Okay, so if the question asks, what is y when y is, when x is equal to 16? x equals 16, that means y is equal to 32 divided by x, in this case, 16. What's 32 divided by 16? 2. Solid 2. So when x is equal to 16, y is 2. And that's 2 true. Um, yeah, so that, that's how you know it. Uh, I think what's the key word here is like setting up originally this equation y equals k over x when you know that they have an inverse relationship with each other. Um, and the alpha here just means their relationship is inverse, but um, you can easily convert that alpha into an equals a constant times whatever. Awesome, sounds good. They said y is 2. That's 2 true. That's good. So the above solution is good.